Query is one of the most important function in Google Sheets. Google Sheets Query allows us to run SQL-like queries against data tables in Sheets. It also enables us to create new table or data set from the main data set. By using Query, we can import specific rows and columns based on our selected conditions and criteria. It also saves us time from manually copying and pasting rows or columns. This is the syntax of the query function. So it starts with the equal sign, the word query, and then open and close parentheses, and inside is three arguments. So the data is the range of cells or the data table that we wish to manipulate or analyze, and the query contains the query that we want to run, and the headers, which is optional, refers to the number of header rows that we have in our data table. So here's our sample data set. So if I wish to copy specific columns from our main data set to another sheet, I will use the query function instead of me copying, for example, column A and then column E, column J and column K one by one and paste them to a different sheet. So here in our select tab or sheet, we have a query. So again, the syntax is the word query followed by open and close parentheses and the arguments inside. So again, the data range. So it's the sheet name, which in our case, the data, followed by the exclamation mark and the columns. So here you can see the data set that we have is or starts with column A and ends with column Y. And for example, I wish to copy the order number column and the sales. So that's going to be column A and column E. For example, I wish to add the status column. So this is column G. Let's go back and add a comma and the column letter and hit enter. So now we should see the order number, sales, and status column. If in case we wish to select all the columns in our data set, so delete the column letters and just input the asterisk sign and hit enter. So you should see all the columns that we have from the data sheet. Also, all the changes that will be made here on the data tab will also reflect in our select sheet. Now, for example, I wish to filter this column to only display the status with a value equal to shipped. So I will use the where clause or where query. So let's go to this tab. So here I created a drop down for the status and for the country available on our data set. So this is our syntax. So again, query the data and the query string. So we will use where and then, so from our data set, the status is column G. So we will enter where G equals to followed by followed by single quotes, double quotes, and the ampersand sign. And cell B3, and then ampersand, double quotes, single quotes, and ending it with a double quotes. So cell B3 is uh, where we can find our um, drop down options. So let's try if I will choose shipped. So we should only see rows wherein the status equals to shipped. Now, for example, we wish to have two conditions. So we put in end. And let's say the country. So the country is column U. So column letters should always be in uppercase. So again, equals, single quotes, double quotes, 
percent and downward drop down for the country is in cell B2. And then double quotes, single quotes, no ampersand, double quotes and single quotes, and click enter. So now, for example, we want to see friends for the country wherein the status is in process. So it should show the orders from country France wherein the status is in process. Now, for example, we want to sort this table by sales. We will use the order by cost. So let's go to and so let's go to our query. So by sales again, the sales column is column E. So before the uh, double or ending double quotes. So let's add order by and column letter E and then hit enter. So by default, it will sort the data in ascending order but if we wish to like from highest to lowest let's put in PESC and it should sort the data in a descending order now in our data set for example we wish to have the sum of sales by territory so instead of creating a pivot table we can also use query and uh, supplement it with the group by clause. So let's go to this sheet. So as you can see, I already have the total sales per territory, and this is the syntax. So select V, which is the territory column, then sum followed by open and close parentheses and the column or sales column, E, group by clause or keyword, then V, and the closing double quotes. Now, for example, we wish to get the total sales for each um, territory wherein the status equals to shipped. So let's use the where clause. So after or before the group by, so enter where, and then the column for status is G equals then single quotes shipped in single quotes click enter so the value should change so let's see six eighty seven 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 that's all for the google sheets query function like and subscribe for another query tutorial or google sheets tutorial please support my channel Thank you. See you later.